guys. Hi guys. <laughs> this is my 21 and 22 week pregnancy update. Today I have no one with me because that's my life and how it is. <laughs> Okay, so this is just gonna be a short video. I wrote the point down on my phone, so in case you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. No, no, this cannot happen like this, please. In the past couple of weeks, I've found, like, I've realized, well, I haven't realized, but like, I noticed, Noah. Okay, so I noticed that I have a chest rash. Why are you running? Why are you running? It is very TMI and kind of gross. It is what it is. It's his pregnancy and new things like pop up from like anywhere, like from nowhere, sorry. So new things pop up from nowhere and it is what it is. So for the past couple of weeks I've noticed a chest, a chest rash, which is kind of annoying. It's not too much, but um, it's there. Um, enough that she and Chili, I was like, oh my god, I have a chest rash and Chili was like, oh yeah, I noticed it So it's something that I did not have in my previous pregnancy with this little man here What I had with him was um, eczema, which came right after he was born and it's weird and I, Oh, I did have a kind of rash with him at the back of my arms, which just grew out of nowhere and I'm still like you know like wondering what the hell it is so yeah it's very annoying but i'm not complaining because i mean there are people that i've heard about that like they have like a rash all over their face and all sorts of like things can happen during pregnancy so if mine is a little chest rash i'm fine with that once i uh, give birth i'm gonna go to a dermatologist and i plan on getting it um checked and sorted and eliminated and you know during pregnancy there's a lot of stuff that you are not allowed to use a lot of products a lot of creams and soaps so it's not something that um, I want to try and treat now so yeah I rather wait until I give birth in case I sound like um, or oh my you can sense that my mood is a bit off it's because I'm tired like I'm ex like extremely 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 tired so that's probably what it is yeah. over the past two weeks something that i've also noticed is i can now feel the baby move like officially like yeah the baby is like i can feel the baby move outside my belly so if i put my hand on my belly i can feel i can actually feel the kicks which is really cool and i'm feeling a lot of it so i don't have to use the baby the baby doppler that i got as often as i used to because i usually feel the baby but i still carry it around with me especially if we go on trips away or and i still use it now and again but that's a new update and i'm super excited about okay something else i've noticed is gum pain i actually googled it because this is a very weird sensation that i don't usually feel and it's something that i did not feel with noel well even if i felt it, i didn't notice so yeah my gums feel super sensitive sometimes like I think very rarely though, like I think it's happened twice enough for me to actually google it and actually gum sensitivity is a symptom of pregnancy especially when you eat meat, you know, you know how you have them in between your teeth but this one's like, it feels like not nice, it feels like you need to get it out it feels like you need to like poke your gums to just feel something in a weird way um, I know some people have gum their gums bleeding and all that I haven't experienced that or swollen gums I haven't experienced that. I've just felt it being sensitive now and again okay, yeah this is another information that's a bit TMI but people don't really talk about during pregnancy they only talk about the good size which is oh my hair is so full and long and luscious but guys it's not only your hair that grows during pregnancy trust me I found out the hard way basically i have hair growth on my legs and my legs is hairy like i have to shave more than i usually do like i'm sorry this is tmi i know but it's annoying and under my arms too specifically it's annoying and my upper lip basically you get hairy and i've noticed like i've had to shave more i had a laser uh program going on with my upper lip and it was going so well because i like it was there was it was non-existent after some some of my treatments but now it's back there and yeah so that's something i've noticed and the hair is thicker as well which is kind of annoying okay another thing that has definitely started over the past two weeks is the insomnia and i think that's probably why i'm exhausted or i feel exhausted right now um i hardly get any sleep 
like highest I would sleep I think I sleep for like maybe a couple hours straight with no disturbance but I'm always waking up constantly waking up and not being able to sleep to go back to sleep even if I need to use the bathroom that's why I haven't been drinking a lot of water especially in the evenings because once I wake up to use the bathroom I'm up all night like till morning and sometimes I don't even bother going back to sleep and then around 11 12 noon it like hits me but then I have to get stuff done and I can't nap because this little man here chooses not to nap yeah in case you're wondering he just bit me that was ridiculous <laughs> story of my life some cravings that I've also had um, over the past two weeks which have crept up is soda I didn't have that with Noah either. Noah was just more like sweet stuff like cakes and chocolate, which I have been craving this time around as well. But mostly, I've noticed the soda cravings. Like, I just want sparkling water soda. Like, I just like the. It's really refreshing. And apparently, that's another common thing as well that happens with people um, during pregnancy. Is, uh, no, what? mommy is please. Mommy is trying to record a video, and this is annoying. I've noticed that craving, anyways, the soda craving. In terms of weight gain, I'm not going to go into that. Let's just say that for my videos that I've been posting, I've been seeing it, and to say it's depressing, <laughs> it's saying the least. But it is what it is. Okay, let me quickly show you my belly. That's it for my 21 and 22 weeks pregnancy update. I have to rush now because my battery is dying. But thank you guys for watching. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. See you next time. Bye. <sighs> OMG.